The cops kicked me off the field for trespassing <laughs> and I had to cancel my session. And I got really embarrassed in front of my clients. What are my next steps? All right, so I got this question from a coach. Um, it's not the first time I've seen this type of question and I experienced something actually very similar early on with my business. Um, and uh, we're gonna get into today's message here in a second. Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go! It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. All right, so I got this message. Uh, this is from a soccer trainer. And um, basically what happened is he snuck onto, uh, I think, a high school field and shouldn't have been there um i think they had signs probably on their field saying like don't use our field unless you are part of our athletic program and uh he ended up getting kicked off the field had to cancel all of his sessions that day it was really embarrassing in front of the client yada 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 um i've personally experienced this in the past and um i've gotten a lot of questions about this sort of stuff recently from new coaches that are you know they don't have a location they are just trying to be scrappy um, and use whatever space they can now a p i think this is a good piece of advice i can give um, to anyone out there who has is training in a spot that they shouldn't be or they um, have already gotten caught <laughs> which is uh, you want to be scrappy, but you need to be smart, right? If you are scrappy, that means you will find a place. You'll find a place to train. Uh, during COVID, I, I, I talked to a guy. He literally trained kids inside of his, his home garage. So he was scrappy and he was smart because he could control his environment, right? I also talked to people that were trying to like bust into schools during that time to run their own training programs. A lot of those guys got caught, um, some of those guys didn't, uh, great, but they will eventually get caught. They will eventually get caught. All right. So the goal here is be scrappy, but be smart. And if you're going to be smart about it, that means you need to talk to whoever is at the top of the school or whoever is at the top of the park that you're, you're going to. Um, and a good example is like one of the parks that I've used for, for my training program. Uh, I use them for almost 10 years. Hey. Like, I talk to the the people that run it. I, I talk to the cops that are there. I'm friends with them. Like they know my name. They know what I do. They don't care about what I do because I made a relationship with them. All right. So this comes down to creating relationships with people who run these parks or run these schools and getting permission to use it. Right. And I always laugh about it because it, it's really the same as, you know, me trying to go to the Apple store and try to start my own small business out of there. Like they're going to look at me and be like, dude, what are you doing? Like, get out of here. <laughs> right. And it's like that when you go to a school or you go to a park, if you have to get a permit, well, go get a permit. If you have to talk to someone, go talk to someone. But a lot of coaches are afraid of confrontation and, and we all assume, oh, well, it's an open space. So I'm just going to go use it. And then you get arrogant and cocky about it. And then what happens is you run into a bigger problem like this, where you get kicked off by the cops. And a lot of coaches have messaged me, sent me messages about this sort of stuff. So again, be scrappy, but be smart. Go talk to people. Uh, it's a, if you're running a business, your business should not be uh, stopped by a police officer, <laughs> right? Uh, and also too, just think about the long-term that effect that has on anyone who's at that park that sees that happen. There's zero chance in the future that they will become a client because they might not even think that that cop was there to kick you off because you're using their space. They might think that you got busted for something else, right? So this is why you need to talk to people. You need to understand, I have permission to use this space and here's the thing, when you have like real permission, you have more confidence 
to use that space in the future, which means you will market yourself harder, right? And, you know, a lot of coaches will half-ass market themselves because they have a half-ass location that they don't know that they can use. They're like, yeah, I can go at this time because no one's there, but I can't use it at this time because someone is there, right? So got to stop half-assing it, all right? And you need to start communicating, run it like a business, right? And, you know, worst case scenario is, well, start paying for a location, <laughs> right? I think a lot of coaches are afraid to start doing that sort of stuff. Um, and, you know, if, if the numbers add up, then you should pay for a location. Have a set spot that you can run your thing out of. Otherwise, like, you will run into problems like this um, if you're not smart about it. So it's all I have to say about it. Um, be scrappy, but be smart. Start talking to people and have a solidified spot that you can do your training program. Otherwise, you can't do this full time. You can't do it long term. Um, all the excuses I've seen from coaches, well, Ben, I can't do it full time. Well, let me look at your location. All right, where are you doing this from? All right, so big problem coaches run into, I wanna talk about it today. And uh, hopefully if you're in that spot right now where, and I know, I know there are coaches watching this right now who are like, gosh, I need to actually figure out if I can run my thing from this spot or not. Like, I know there's coaches watching this that are in that th those shoes right now. So go talk, communicate, figure it out, and start paying for for a spot if you if you need to. All right, that's it for today's video. If you are not on my email newsletter, right, go to my website buildmysportsbiz.com. Scroll to the bottom of my page, get my free newsletter that I send out two, three, sometimes four times a week. Um, I give more tips, more strategies. Um, that's something I've been doing for the last five years. We have over a thousand coaches on that list. Um, I also give discounts to different types of programs and consulting offers that we have. Um, but go check that out. And if you want to personally connect with me, all right, shoot me a text right here. That is my phone number, uh, 960 or 210-960-5771. Shoot me a text whenever you want during the week. Um, I will respond. Uh, I don't have a uh, you know, someone in China who's going to respond to you, <laughs> this is me. Uh, and it's not some bot either, right? Like you're going to get in touch with me there. I respond to every single coach, whoever reaches out to me, period. All right. I don't care if you uh, have a nine to five job right now and you're, you're, you have an idea to get started, or if you already have a, a seven figure business, it doesn't matter to me. Like I get back to every single coach who reaches out to me. Um, so reach out to me there and, uh, Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll catch you later.